to GeoConvention 2021. My name is Dustin Manger, and I am the director of GeoConvention. Over the next couple minutes, I will tour our virtual platforms to allow you to make the most out of your time with us. We will have two platforms running during the conference, FeedLoop, where you'll find the full technical program and exhibit floor, and GeoGather, where you will go to network, watch showcase presentations, view posters, and play games. We'll first touch on the conference platform, FeedLoop. Upon clicking the link in your portal access email, you'll be directed to the login page. After providing your email address and password as provided in the welcome email, you will enter the lobby. Shortly after logging in the first time, you'll be directed to allow notifications. We highly suggest you allow this to get the full virtual event experience. Know when colleagues are messaging you and see GeoConvention announcements in real time. From right to left, the lobby features a public lobby chat, which we'll talk about more soon, an announcements area, and our social feed, which we encourage you to engage with using the hashtag Geocon2021. Throughout the platform, over to the left, you'll see the navigation pane, which will allow you to access the different areas of the conference. We will start by accessing the account information. Here, you're able to provide your headshot, bio, contact information, as well as specify your notification and visibility preferences. The sessions is where the full oral program is hosted, and that's where we'll head next. Once you are within the sessions section, you will see the full list of available sessions to the left, the presentation area in the middle, and again, over to the right, the networking and chat pane. You can search for name or use the filter to see authors and keywords, and even add sessions to your personal schedule via the plus button. As an example, we'll go to the Canadian oil sands session. Each parent session will have the full list of presentations listed below, along with the times that they'll be live. Please note the start times of the talks. Talks will begin at the designated start time, and while we include a bit of an overrun buffer, we encourage you to click on the talks that you're interested in as soon as they begin to ensure that you see the full presentation and are able to ask the presenter questions. Please note the room that the session is hosted in as well. This will be your key to finding the proper breakout room on GeoGather. Click on a presentation to review the recording. Here, we'll click into Robin's presentation. Upon entering the presentation, you can play the presentation from the beginning once it's gone live. There are other player controls if you need to briefly step away, but please remember that talks will begin on schedule and only have a brief overrun, so don't get too far behind or you'll miss out. We can also access speaker information, including any personal links they may have provided, description of the talk, and the abstract. There's also an engagement tab where you can provide your feedback on the talk. This is really important to help us determine the best content in the show for award presentations at a later date. Please take a few moments to answer the four questions provided at the completion of the talk. At the conclusion of the talk, to get the next one in the session, you'll click the button at the top and then select the next talk in the series. Presenters have been guided to be live within their presentation when it is scheduled to occur to answer any questions you may have. To ask your questions, you can use the chat function to the right. This chat is specific to this talk and will only be seen in this talk. Much like the lobby chat is specific to the lobby and booth chat is specific to a booth, which we'll look at soon, this chat is specific to this talk. In the chat area, you can also see who else is in the session and connect directly with them by clicking their name and typing a brief message that you'd like to connect. Your chats will then appear on your private chats pane at the bottom of the screen. To continue the chat, simply click the person who you'd like to chat with, then enter your message. You can even then have a quick live video conversation. Hey, Lana. This is a perfect way to not only engage with speakers one-on-one -on -one to ask more in-depth questions, but also connect with colleagues. You can do this by simply doing a search within the People tab of the Networking section. If you're looking to chat with a few folks at once, or if you'd like to have a session breakout, the GeoGather platform is perfect to use. We'll touch more on GeoGather shortly. While we are here, I wanted to note real quick the notification bell in the upper right hand corner. This area will track any messages that have been sent to you, either by your colleagues or GeoConvention announcements. Now, let's check out the posters. Poster presentations will be live throughout the conference. Again here, we can learn more about the author, read a brief summary of their poster, access the abstract, and view their short poster presentation. Again, each poster has its own unique chat where you can engage with the author or others checking out the poster. Within the posters area, you can also directly chat with the author by simply clicking Start Chat under their name. Please note the poster number here too. 
That is where we'll go on GeoGather to check out the static image of this particular poster. Again, more on that to come. Poster presenters have been asked to be online and available during both our morning and afternoon breaks, as well as lunch. Then again on GeoGather at their specific poster. Next, we'll take a look at our exhibits area. GeoConvention is extremely fortunate to have over 30 supporting companies for Virtual GeoConvention 2021. So we truly hope that you'll use your breaks and other downtime to stop by and say hello. Again here, you can search by company to find the exhibitor that you'd like to visit. Please note that many of our exhibitors have game codes that you can enter for points in exchange for prizes. So please do stop by and have a chat. Upon clicking into a booth, you will be presented with their contact information, how to engage with them, any collateral that they have available, videos, and again, the ability to engage with them via the booth chat, or in the case of this exhibitor, a join live button, which will put you directly in a video conversation with the exhibitor and anyone else who may be on video with that exhibitor at the same time. Let's click in and see who's there. It's Lana. The request for information button will also be your opportunity to express interest in learning more from that particular exhibitor. Upon submitting this form, the exhibitor will be notified that you're interested in learning more from them. Before we transition to GeoGather, two final notes on the conference platform side. As I just mentioned, GeoConvention 2021 will feature an in-conference game where you will be able to find keywords from exhibitors and throughout the platform to exchange for prizes. The gamification section is here to let you enter codes and view the available prizes. Please note that some prizes are only available for pickup in Calgary. Finally, if you ever need assistance, the Contact Us chat is available for you to use as needed. Now, let's head over to GeoGather. GeoGather is a networking tool that is complementary to the conference platform and will be available throughout the conference. We encourage you to use this space to have session breakouts and network after the program has concluded each day. Upon accessing GeoGather for the first time, you'll be asked to input your email address. Please use the email address that your registration and system access emails are sent to. This is the only email address that we have set up for you. You will then get a confirmation code, which you'll enter to access the system. Again here, we suggest allowing access to your camera and microphone so that you may have conversations and network while you navigate GeoGather. Upon logging in the first time, you'll be presented with a brief tutorial. Navigation within GeoGather is via the arrow keys on your keyboard. If you ever get stuck behind somebody, the G key on your keyboard will allow you to walk through them. You can also zoom in and out using the video preferences, disabling smart zoom. Here on GeoGather, we have breakout rooms for each session, exhibit floor, posters, showcase auditorium, and games lounge with networking rooftop. If you recall, on the conference platform site, each session is hosted in a unique room. Those rooms are also here on GeoGather. This is the space that you'll want to go for session breakouts. For instance, for the Canadian oil sand session, the breakout room is in the Athabasca Oil Corporation room during the morning of September 13th. This is where you'll go during the breaks or lunch to have deeper group conversations with the presenters. Within GeoGather, as you get closer to individuals in public areas, their video and audio will become louder. As you move away, they fade out, as shown as we approach Lana here. Within private areas such as tables, the breakout rooms, posters, or booths, anyone in that space can communicate with one another. You do not need to be in close proximity. Everyone in that space can communicate. Hi, Lana. As you walk around, you'll see many interactive objects, including posters. To engage with objects, click the X button on your keyboard. Be sure to check out the showcase presentations in the auditorium, the schedule for which is available outside the room and in the program guide. Also be sure to stop in and check out the GeoGather exhibitors. Just like an in-person conference, stroll the floor and see who you bump into. Finally, we know that networking can sometimes be intimidating, so we have created the GeoGather rooftop. This is a dedicated space for people looking to make new connections. When you see others in this area, please know that they're looking for new connections too. Within GeoGather, if you run into any issues, please stop by the information desk just inside the conference center. Thank you again for joining us. We can't wait to get started.